हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बाय अ सिंक लेट अस कंसीडर अ फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेयर वी नीड टू डिजाइन अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बाय अ नेटवर्क यूजिंग अ सप्लाई वोल्टेज ऑफ 24 वोल्ट बीटा इज गिवन एज 110 एंड ICQ वैल्यू इज 4 मिली एंपियर VCE at Q point is 8 volts and VE is equal to VCC divided by 8. So in this problem, they have asked us to design a voltage divider by us network. Which means once you solve the problem, you need to draw the circuit and then substitute all the values which you have calculated. Before solving the problem, first you need to write the given data. So they have given the supply voltage as 24 volts, which means VCC is equal to 24 volts. Also, they have given beta is equal to 110, ICQ is equal to 4 milli ampere, VCEQ is equal to 8 volts, and VE is equal to VCC divided by 8. So this is the given data. So here. in the first step we need to obtain the values of ib ie and ve we know ic can be given as beta ib so from this we can say ib is equal to ic divided by beta since they have given ic at q point you need to substitute the same value at ic so it will be equal to 4 milli amperes divided by 110 so from this we can say ib is equal to 36.36 micro amperes we know ie can be written as ib plus ic so if we substitute the values we'll get 36.36 micro amperes plus 4 milli ampere we can say ie is equal to 4.036 milli ampere now we need to find the value of ve ve can be given as vcc divided by 8 so which is nothing but 24 divided by 8 from this we can say ve is equal to 3 volts in some of the problem they will not give the value of ve at that case we need to use the formula vb is equal to vbe plus ve from this we can write the formula ve is equal to vb minus vbe so we can use this formula to find the value of ve so here we can find vb value by using 1 by 3 vcc since vb is nothing but vth which is thevenin's equivalent voltage that's why we can write vb is equal to 1 by 3 vcc from this we can find the value of vb we know vbe is 0.7 volts so once we find these two values we can find the value of ve use this formula if ve value is not given in next step we need to find the value of re and rc we know re can be given as ve divided by ie we have found the value of ve as well as ie so if we substitute those values we'll get 3 volts divided by 4.036 milli amperes so from this we can say the value of re is equal to 743.24 ohms if we consider the output side equation of the voltage divider by a circuit we can write the equation as vcc minus icrc minus vce 
minus V E is equal to zero. So from this, we can write the expression for R C. R C is equal to V C C minus V C E minus V E divided by I C. So if we substitute all these values, we'll get 24 volts minus 8 volts minus 3 volts divided by 4 milliamperes. From this, we can say the value of R C is equal to 3.25 kilo ohm. In step number 3, let us find the value of R1 and R2. To find the value of R1 and R2, let us take the circuit at the input side. So if we consider the circuit at the input side, we will be having resistor R1 and R2. Correspondingly, we will be having current I1 and I2. And at the base terminal, we will be having the current IB. So the current I1 will be equal to IB plus I2. So here we need to find the value of R1 and R2. First, let us find the value of VB. So we can write VB is equal to VE plus VBE. So we know this. So if we substitute the value, we will get 3 plus 0 0.7 volts. Therefore, VB will be equal to 3.7 volts. We can write I2 is equal to 10 times IB. So we can write 10 into the value of IB is 36.36 microamperes. So I2 will be equal to 363.6 microamperes. Now from this circuit we can find the value of R2 as VB divided by I2. So we can find R2 is equal to VB divided by I2. So we can write VB is 3.7 volts divided by 363.6 micro amperes. So the value of R2 will be equal to 10.176 kilo ohm. Now we can find the value of R1. We can write R1 is equal to VCC minus VB divided by I1. So I1 is nothing but IB plus I2. So that's why we can write R1 is equal to VCC minus VB divided by IB minus I2. So if we substitute the value, it will be 24 minus 3.7 volts divided by 363.6 micro plus 36.36 micro. So if we solve this, we'll get R1 is equal to 50.75 kilo ohm. So the value of R1 is 50.75 kilo ohm. In the problem, it is given as design a voltage divided by a circuit. Now, after finding all these values, you need to write the voltage divided by a circuit and substitute all the values which you have calculated. Let us consider the second problem where we need to design a voltage divided by a circuit. For the BJT specifications with VCC is equal to 12 volts, IE is equal to 1 milliampere and beta is equal to 100. So again, here we need to design the voltage divided by us circuit, which means once we find all the values, we need to draw the voltage divided by us circuit and substitute all the values which we have calculated. First, we need to write the given data. VCC is equal to 12 volts. IE is equal to 1 milliampere and beta is equal to 100. First let us find the resistor RE. RE can be given as VE divided by IE. We need to find the value of VE. So we can use the formula VB is equal to VBE plus VE. So VE can be given as VB minus VBE. We can write VB is equal to 1 by 3 VCC. So you can say VB is equal to 1 by 3 into 12 volts. So VB 
will be equal to 4 volts. If we substitute the value of VB here, we can write VE is equal to 4 volt minus VB is 0 0.7 volts. So VE is equal to 3.3 volts. So we can find RE is equal to VE is 3.3 volts divided by IE is 1 milliampere. So RE is equal to 3.3 kilo ohm. For an voltage divider by a circuit, voltage divider current will be equal to 0 0.1 times IE. So you need to remember this formula. So voltage divider current in a voltage divided by a circuit will be 0 0.1 into IE. So from this we can write 0 0.1 into 1 milli. So voltage divider current will be equal to 0 0.1 milli amperes. So we have calculated voltage divider current. Now let us find the voltage divider resistances R1 plus R2. R can be given as V by I. So which is equal to VCC divided by the voltage divider current. So VCC is 12 volts divided by voltage divider current is 0 0.1 milliampere. So from this we can say R1 plus R2 is equal to 120 kilo ohm. Now let us find the resistor R2. To find the resistor R2, let us use Thevenin's voltage formula. So VTH is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VCC. So VTH is nothing but VB. So if we substitute the value, we will get 4 volts will be equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is 120 kilo ohm multiplied with 12 volts. If we solve this, we will get R2 is equal to 40 kilo ohm. Since R1 plus R2 is equal to 120 kilo ohm, so we can write R1 plus 40 kilo is equal to 120 kilo ohm. So we can write R1 is equal to 80 kilo ohm. Now we need to find different current components. We know IE is given as 1 milliampere. So we can write IE is equal to beta plus 1 into IB. So from this we can say IB is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1. So IE value is 1 milliampere. So beta is 100. 100 plus 1 is 101. So from this we can say IB is equal to 9.9 .9 micro amperes. Now we can find the value of IC. IC is equal to beta times IB. So we can write this as 100 into 9.9 .9 micro amperes. So from this we can say IC is equal to 0 0.99 milliamperes. We know IC into RC, we can write it as 1 by 3 VCC. If we substitute all these values, we will get 0 0.99 milli into RC will be equal to 1 by 3 into 12 volts. From this, we can say RC value is equal to 4 kilo ohm. So we have found all the current components and resistor values. You need to draw the voltage divided by a circuit and substitute all these values in the circuit. This is about problems on voltage divided biasing. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.